Now we're going to look at distance from a point to a line. And our point is going to be just called P, and our line is L of T. And of course our line equation is written there, P naught plus VT, where V is the slope of the line. All right, so over here, I just constructed a couple of pieces we're going to need. Now, if, I, if we ignore that for a minute, what we're looking at is the point P close to the line. Well, not necessarily close to the line, but somewhere uh, written, drawn with the line. And we want to know the distance away from the line. So what we need is a perpendicular right here. The wrong tool. So we'll drop a perpendicular down. And I want to know the magnitude of that perpendicular. Now I'm going to call that vector n. So I want to know the magnitude of n. We can just say n is the side length. And we're going to have to find this vector right here. That vector is going to be p naught p, which we're going to do subtraction end minus start. And then, if we could just get the angle right here, we could use the sine function to relate the length of the two sides with the angle. Let's write that down now. Sine, so, so opposite over hypotenuse. All right, so opposite is going to be n, the length of the side. Hypotenuse is not just p not p, that's the vector going that direction, but it'll be the magnitude of that vector. And that is sine theta. And it's very easy to solve for n, just multiply by the magnitude of p not p. So n equals sine theta times p not p. Times the magnitude of p naught p. Let's go ahead and compute the uh, compute the example here. So we'll go distance. from equals 115 to the line L of T equals I'm going to write it in parametric form 1 plus T comma 3 minus T comma 2T That dot's not supposed to be there. There we go. All right. This is not the best form because of what I'm going to really need. Oh, I talked about the angle up there. Didn't talk about how we would ever get that angle theta. All right. So I need to get an angle between two vectors, but which two? P not P is obviously one of the two vectors. The other vector is the slope of the line. The slope, we're using the vector V for slope. Uh, vector V may be anywhere along this line, but the best way to think about it, it points the direction the line points and has whatever magnitude it has. We need to find that vector V and then the point P naught, and we already have the point P. So all I'm going to do is separate our line function into the slope and the point. So the point is going to be 1, 3, 2. All I did was, whoops, 1, 3, 0. All I did was grab the constants 1, 3. I'm pointing to the 2, but it's because there's no constant there. 0 plus 2t. Plus, now the non constant part, everything with a t, is 1, comma, and you can write, I'll do this in two steps 1t, comma, negative t, and 2t. 
and I'll write that as 1, negative 1, 2. Factoring the scalar out. So that is separated out. We can see P0, and we can see V. All we need to do is get the vector P0, P. I'll just call it U. P0, P. So it's always end minus start. Right, so end is P. We have to go way up to the beginning of the problem. P is 115. P minus P naught. That's 115 minus P naught is top of the screen 130. All right, subtraction. Subtract these two. We are going to get a vector here. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 3 minus 2. 5 minus 0 is 5. So that's the vector u. And I'm just going to quickly redraw what's above. So we just computed that vector u. We're going to need to find the angle theta. So that goes way, way back to using the dot product uh, to get the cosine. So we get that. Well, um, let's go with. <coughs> I think that's a time function. I believe we wrote that at the very beginning. I think that'll go a lot faster. Somewhere. Nope. Ah, cross product. Cross product. Alright, somewhere we had a sign there. I'm going to try to copy and paste. That works. Alright. I can right click. So we'll just remember it and rewrite it then. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So let's run back to here. All right. So I have the sine theta that I wrote above, n equals sine theta p naught p. We'll begin with that. Magic P not P. Alright, we have a formula for sine theta. Use the cross product. It's P not P cross that vector cross V divided by magnitude V times the magnitude of P not P Something is missing from that. I believe we should be divided by magnitude P not P on that sign also. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get the magnitudes to cancel. Right there. And then we just have a cross product divided by uh, V. Oh, we do need to take the magnitude of this whole thing. Apply something back on the other page. All right, so what we're left with is P naught P cross V. Divided by magnitude V. And the denominator was already a scalar, so that can go out of the magnitude right there, and then we just the magnitude of the numerator vector. All right, so we're going to use this formula. This is n, this is side length, or length of from from p 
to our LFP. To LFP. I should probably summarize that up there. Or, you know, let's instead see where LT is P naught plus VT. Right, so this, and it's really just it's not like. That'll be a C. All right, distance from P naught to LT. So we need to find P P naught. Did we do that already? Yes, we did. So that we also call U. So we're going to take that, cross it with V, divide by magnitude V. cross V divided by magnitude V. You cross V is... V is up there at the top, 1, negative 1, 2. Divide by magnitude of V. So that's the same vector 1, negative 1, 2. Okay, magnitude that. Alright, so magnitude is going to be easy computation. Cross product we'll do separately. So square root, don't care that the negative 1 is negative, you're going to square that out. 1 plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Alright, square root, that's the magnitude there. All right, we're going to cross those top two vectors right now. So we have i, j, k, 0, 2, 5, 1, negative 1, 2. Row 1 expansion, remember, plus, minus. I times two five negative one two minus J times magnitude zero five one two plus K times magnitude zero two one negative one. All right, four plus five negative 0 minus 5 and then 0 minus 2 9 5 negative 2 and we have to take the magnitude of this eighty one plus twenty five plus four is one ten ish root. Don't need to know any more than that. All right, and we're ready to find the length. Bring that value in. We can't combine the square roots. I don't think we're getting anything good. Oh, we're going by square root five. So one ten is five times two. These are multiply. 
5 times 2 times 11 over square root 1 over 1 2. Oh, that makes 6. I thought that made 5. I wish. All right, well, there'll be no cancellation. That's as good as it gets. Oh, you can cancel it, too. All right, numbers are scary enough. Let's just leave it like that. All right, so that's our first length right there.